Hi! Good day to everyone! Our topic is about graphing linear inequality in two variables. The graph of the linear inequality in two variables. A linear inequality divides the coordinate plane into two halves by a boundary line. The plane separated by the boundary line is called half planes. This boundary line is also known as plane divider. The plane divider may be dashed or solid line. As you see in the figure, the plane divider may be dashed or solid line if the symbol is greater or less than the boundary line is dashed. If the symbol is greater, equal, or less than equal, the boundary line is solid. Identifying the solutions of the linear inequalities in two variables using its graph. The graph of an equality in two variables is the set of points that represents all solutions to the inequality. Using the graph, we can determine if the coordinate is a solution to the inequality or not. Example, let us enumerate set of ordered pairs that are the solutions of the inequality. 2x minus y is less than 5. All the points inside the shaded region are solutions to the inequality. 2x minus y less than 5. Examples, point A, point C, and point F. All the points outside the shaded region are not solutions to the inequality 2x minus y less than 5. Examples, point D and point E. The dashed line indicates that all the points lie on the boundary line is not solutions to the inequality 2x minus y less than 5. Examples, point B and point G. Another example, enumerate the ordered pairs that are the solutions of the inequality 3x greater than equal 12 minus 6y. All the points inside the shaded region are solutions to the inequality 3x greater than equal 12 minus 6y. Examples, point L, point A, point N, and point D. All the points outside the shaded region are not solutions to the inequality 3x greater than equal 12 minus 6y. Examples, point R, and point B. The solid line indicates that all the points lie on the boundary line is solutions to the inequality 3x greater than equal 12 minus 6y. Examples, point S and point F. Steps in graphing linear inequalities in two variables. Let's have an example. Graph y greater than 2x minus 5. We have to follow procedure to graph the linear inequality. Step 1, graph the boundary line of the inequality as it was a line. The inequality y greater than 2x minus 5 can be written as y is equal to 2x minus 5. Remember how to graph an equation in y is equal to mx plus b form. 
In graphing y is equal to 2x minus 5, let us assign values of x to get y. So, in the equation 2x minus 5, let us assign x is equal to 0, then solve. Your y is negative 5. So, you have the point 0, negative 5. Another assigned value, if x is 1, y is equal to 2 times 1 minus 5. Your y is negative 3. So, you have the point 1 and negative 3. Let us graph. At least you have two points to create a line. If the inequality is less than or greater than, as you see in the given equation, make a dash line. Step 2. Test a point. It is advisable to use the coordinates of the origin, 0, 0, as it is a way easier to simplify. Substitute 0, 0 from the equation y is greater than 2x minus 5. And you get 0 greater than negative 5. Is 0 greater than negative 5? Yes, that is true. Step 3. Shade. Since the coordinates of the origin 0, 0 satisfies the inequality y greater than 2x minus 5, shade the half plane that contains 0, 0. The shaded part are the solutions of the given equation y greater than 2x minus 5. Let's have another example. Graph y less than 2x minus 5. We can write y less than 2x minus 5 as y is equal to 2x minus 5. Let us assign values of x to get the value of y. If x is 0, your y is negative 5. So you have 0, negative 5. If x is 1, your y is equal to negative 3. Then you have 1 and negative 3. That is graph. At least you have 2 points to create a line. If the inequality is less than or greater than, make a dash line. Create dash line as the boundary line of the half plane. Test a point. We use the point of origin 0, 0. Substitute to the equation y is less than 2x minus 5. Then you have 0 less than negative 5. Is 0 is less than negative 5? No, the statement is false. Then, shade. Since the coordinates of the origin 0, 0 does not satisfy the inequality y is less than 2x minus 5, shade the half plane that did not contain 0, 0. And the shaded part are the solutions. Last example, graph inequality x plus y greater than equal to 1. x plus y greater than equal to 1, we can write as x plus y is equal to 1. Let us write the equation in the form y is equal to mx plus b. Solve the equation by ABE, cancelled x and negative x. We have y is equal to negative x plus 1. Let us assign value of x to get the value of y. So if x is 0, your y is 1. So you have 0 and 1. If x is equal to 1, your y is 0. So you have 1, 0. Then let us graph. At least you have 2 points to create a line. If the inequality is greater than, equal, or less than, equal, make a solid line.
as you see in the given equation, we have greater than equal, so we can create a solid line that serves the boundary line of the half plane. Then test a point using 0, 0. Is 0 greater than or equal to 1? No. So the statement is false. Then we have to shade it. Since the coordinates of the origin 0, 0 does not satisfy the inequality x plus y greater than equal to 1, shade a half plane that did not contain 0, 0. And the shaded part are the solutions. That's all for now. Thank you for watching.